You're listening to Racing Future Radio. Here's your host, Mr. Dennis Mills, with this week's guest, Mr. John Snowman. Uh, so moving west and going into uh, another breed, we'll move from standard bred to a quarter horse. Let's talk about Ajax, Ontario, Peacoff Downs. Tell us a little bit about what's going on there. You and I are going to show our age because it's Peacoff Downs for us and Ajax <laughs> Downs for most people. But yeah, you'll know the Peacoff family, uh, um, Alex, uh, uh, before. Well, we'd be Norm shot and, if we didn't mention his name. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, I, Norm Pico has been a friend for a long time to a lot of horsemen, myself included, he and his family. And uh, I had the privilege of knowing uh, his dad a little before his dad passed away. And um, it's a great family story. They've been behind quarter horse racing for, I don't know, four, gener- four decades, I would think, and probably four generations now. The the old J track out there in Ajax was, uh, it was uh, you know, quite a place. And they have, as a family, much like a lot of the rest of the horse racing industry, it depends on it, on families that invest and make a difference in the sport. You know, we, you mentioned Mr. Taylor's name, you know, obviously Mr. Samuels, folks like that. Well, the Pico family have been that for quarter horse racing. And uh, they finally, a few years ago, managed to get a big track built. It's beautiful, Ajax Downs. It's a great track. They have, uh, obviously, the, the help of the SARP program helped them put that together. And they have, frankly, a great gaming site there, and it's community-friendly, very similar to other other spots in Ontario. Right now, the Quarter Horse Program, we're just finishing up, as we speak today, some work with them on supporting the program. Uh, it's been great working with their folks. They've got some great people who work on racing there. The family commitment is unbelievable. They are uh, completely committed to uh, the future of Quarter Horse Racing in the province, and really horse racing. Uh, I think it's a great track. One of the things it gives us, if you've been out there, I mean, there's it's really in a bedroom community. I mean, it, it, there's there's people very close to that track, and it's it's fabulous. Yeah. So, we're going to work with them to uh, to time and schedule the racing so that we get the most fan attention we can. We think that's one of the great places in the GTA to go watch a horse race, and uh, we're going to really focus our attentions on building the fan base by using their product and their location to help us reach a lot more people. And their uh, gaming uh, room has the ability, they, they bring in content from all over the world there for people to uh, bet on. Right. Uh, yes, you know, they do. A lot yeah. of people don't realize that. That's, uh, uh, even though there may not be live racing, uh, people can yeah. go into their... Right. They have, a, they have a great simulcast location. They, they um, you know, and again, it's really easily accessible. And, you know, they're good people. So I think they've got a great future there. Uh, John, thank you so much for your uh, support, your dedication, and uh, good luck. Keep it going. Hope to have you back soon. All right. Enjoyed it. Thank you. Okay. You've been listening to Racing Future Radio with your host, Mr. Dennis Mills. This week's guest was Mr. John Snowblin. <laughs>